We have made it past the 2112-2012 date of the Maya calendar but still there are those who wish to send out fear-inspired messages to humanity. Now is the time when messages will begin to flow from source in a pure state free from interference from any other source. This is to be the way forward for many light workers and star seeds. Many are now linking telepathically with guides who are from the highest light ray. These are the ones that will now step forward to guide the rest to full awakening. This scribe is now connected to the source and will relay knowledge from source. She is from the heavenly realm and is able to discern what is truth and what is not truth that flows from the media. She has been on this earth from the very beginning and was one of the creators, yes there were more than one involved in earth's creation. This is her mission along with other light bearers to right what went wrong in Lemuria. She along with others from her soul family have been placed at different areas on Gaia to help with the activation of the crystals that are still hidden. Many light workers and star seeds will begin to draw to the light bearers and reunite with their soul groups it is then that many things will begin to flow into creation. It is with the light bearers knowledge that you will be able to begin the process of helping Gaia heal the lands and the waters. This will also be when many will begin the process of living with the land as it should always have been. Many large cities have been affected and are still being affected by adverse weather patterns for a reason. It was never intended for humanity to be raising families and living in large cities away from mother nature dependent on processed food. If you look back even a few hundred years half the diseases you now carry were unheard of. To put it bluntly you eat the flesh of dead animals, do you not realize that this is of no good to you? I hear some say but we need it for iron to build healthy blood cells. I tell you that this is killing your healthy blood cells and causing many cancers as your cells are mutating in those more sensitive to flesh. It is time to listen to your bodies. You are eating foods that are not live. Remember you are a living being and you need living food to keep you healthy as well as living water which when consumed by you will begin to show in your general well-being and alertness. This is why we need to begin the process of educating the people. Great amounts of land have been taken by corporations and governments for the production of food which is killing humanity slowly. Great rainforests of the Amazon depleted to grow palm oil which clogs the heart the seat of you spirituality, of truth. Then the large pharmaceutical companies along with scientists and doctors push more poison into your systems. But they do not stop there, they prolong the natural process of death keeping those they have poisoned alive a little longer so they can obtain control of the now growing generation. Why? Money power. It is time to simplify your lives by this I mean think before you buy something do you need it or just want it. The less you feed the money machine the better off you will be. Look at what you own in your homes is it needed or is it just accumulating dust? Look to what you are paying for the education of your children. In time there will be no need for lawyers, doctors, judges, police officers, military, the list is endless. As all will be in harmony crime and wars will be a thing of the past. When new technology is released you will have no need for oil or electrical grids, dams with turbines see how many businesses will no longer be needed. While you continue feeding off the old ways you remain stuck you cannot move forward and you cannot move back you just continue to repeat cycles which leave you devoid of love and light. It is time to start thinking from the heart and tell the mind and your ego to take a back seat. When you have done this your world will open and you will see the many possibilities that are here for all humanity not just a chosen few. Imagine what your children would gain by following a dream. The study of how creation works the biology the framework. Building homes that work in harmony with the environment run from the environment causing no harm to any living thing. Tending gardens and trees with love and care and they provide their lives for the sustaining of your life freely as you thank them for their gifts. The list is as endless as your dreams. This scribe is getting tired so I will leave you for now as she is in need of rest. May the love and light touch many hearts, Zion Angel of God.